The Amazing Spider-Man Issue Number Four. Nothing can stop the Sandman. No one New York's biggest tourist attraction is Grant's Tomb Empire State Building. Nope, it's a colorful crime fighter named Spider-Man. Looks like old J. Jonah still gunning for me in his paper. Some guys just never give up. Well, well, if I ever saw three punks case in a jewelry store, I see it now. I was right. No sooner does the proprietor lock up for the night and head for home, than they start sneaking up to the place. Hey, what's going on? Who's the wise guy? Feels like a piece of whip just dropped down on us, but who? Well, it's not Dr. Kildare. Spider-Man, we're sunk. Shut up, stupid, I'll handle this. If you're thinking of putting up a fight, brother, let me warn you. A fight? The only fight I'll put up is in court. I'm suing you for assault and battery, and I've got witnesses to prove it. Yeah, that's right. There's no law against three honest citizens walking in the street at night. Then you come swooping down on us, scaring us out of your wits. You're a menace, just like J. Jonah Jameson says. He's right, I was a fool. I should have waited till they broke into the store. Now I have no evidence. Don't you feel like a jerk parading around in public in that getup? A fine way to talk to a superhero, but what can I do about it? Say, let's swear out a ward and get Spider-Man. I'll call a cop. Help! Police! This is Batty. They're calling for help against me. Police? Boy, you can never get a cop when you want one. We'll help ya. Hey, police! I see one coming now. Alright, what's going on here? It's Spider-Man. He attacked us for no good reason. He'll find my web on the ground, and it's their three stories against my one. Even a superhero knows when it's time to cut out. Hey, come back here, you. I've got to fill out a report. I need your name, address. Wait a minute. This'll teach me not to go charging into things until I know what the score is. Well, it could be worse. At least I did stop them from robbing that store. Hey, get him down from there. Shoot the bum. I gotta hand it to you, Charlie. You sure outsmarted that creep. All right, guys. Move along. The party's over. If I were Spider-Man, I might have tackled you myself, because you got larceny written all over you. Meanwhile, up above. It's all his fault, on account of Jameson stirring everyone up against me. Even cheap crooks now think they don't have to fear me anymore. Well, it's time I pay J. Jonah a little visit as Spider-Man. Heck, it's empty. He's not in. But I'll just leave a little souvenir for him to prove I was here. Minutes later. Well, that's that. Now I'll... Hey, police cars below. Something must be up. I'd better hang around. That fella climbing frantically to the roof must be the one they're looking for. It'll be duck soup for me to get him. First, I'll shine my Spider-Man beacon in front of him to let him know what he's up against. And then I'll just... Holy Hannah, who are you? I didn't expect a welcoming committee, but since you asked, I call myself the Sandman. Now then, any other dumb questions? The Sandman, I heard of you. But I thought the reports were just a gag. If what they say about you is true, you're wanted by the police from Maine to Mexico. Very interesting. Now get lost. I got me a couple of banks to rob, and I don't want to work overtime. Hold it, gruesome. Nobody gives Spider-Man the bum's rush. You're gonna get worse than that if you don't let go. Think I'm kidding, huh? Well, okay, let's see you hold on to me now. He... He's slipping through my fingers, just like soft sand. I don't know how you managed to do that, but that, that's kid stuff. You ain't seen nothing yet. Now do you see why they call me the Sandman? It's unbelievable. Your body isn't flesh and blood. My fist goes right through you without hurting you. But I can't hurt you, pal. All I do is harden any part of me that I want to, like this. Ugh, your jaw is like iron. And how's this? No hands. He can change his body as easily as Mr. Fantastic. Only Sandman isn't on our side. Oof. Don't go away, chum. The party's only starting. He's just toying with me. I've got to use my web on him. But you did. Oh no! I tore my face mask. I can't let anyone see me like this. It'll be the end of my secret identity. Even if I could, I don't dare to capture him now. So you got me. So what? Soon as the police grab me, I'll let them all know who you really are. Once my secret is out, J. Jonah Jameson will never stop hounding me. To think that a public menace lived right in our midst, hiding beneath a mask of respectability. He must be expelled from school, driven from town, lock him up for life. I don't want decent teenagers to associate with him. He's just an overgrown delinquent. And Aunt May, if I'm driven from town, what will happen to her? 
Don't worry about me, Peter, darling. I'm just an old lady. It's you who matter. Come back here, you blamed coward. The amazing Spider-Man. Bah. I've got to get away. I can't take the chance of him recognizing me. The risks are too great. He's gone. Now I'll just get back to business. It's easy for a guy to jump off the roof of a building if he could turn into small, weightless sand particles. Then, after I land on the sidewalk, all I have to do is reform the particles again. And now for that date with a bank. Reaching the bank, Sandman reformed the particles of his index finger into the shape of a blank key. Inserting his finger inside the lock, the key takes the exact shape of the lock itself, enabling it to move the tumblers, thus opening the door. Once inside the bank, Sandman then slides along the floor, slithering under the electric hide barrier without setting off an alarm. Until... So far so good, now to tackle the main vault itself. Meanwhile, at the home of Peter Parker, high school major, we find Peter, alias Spider-Man, wrestling with an unusual problem for a superhero. If this doesn't take the cake, I can't go out in public as Spider-Man until my mask is sewn up. And when it comes to sewing, I'm all thumbs. This is ridiculous. I'm no cotton-picking seamstress. But I've got to do it myself. I can't walk into a tailor shop and say, sew up my Spider-Man suit, please, without making somebody just a little bit suspicious about who I am. Ouch. Darn needle. Wish I could ask Aunt May without arousing her suspi- Hey. What's this? We are bringing you a special bulletin. The dreaded Sandman has been reported in our city. Those of you who are unfamiliar with Sandman's background, Channel 17 presents this brief summary. A few months ago, he was an inmate at an island prison. Known as Flint Marco, he was the most incorrigible prisoner at the Maximum Security Jail. Then, one night, he escaped through an unguarded drainage tunnel. Vowing never to be recaptured alive, he headed the FBI list of most wanted criminals as he managed to remain one step ahead of the pursuing lawmen. But as the police dragnet drew ever tighter, he hid in the one place where no one would imagine a man would hide. An atomic devices testing center. Realizing it was the only place where he could have a measure of safety, he remained on the lonely Forbidden Area Beach until the fateful day that a nuclear test explosion caught him unaware. By some incredible accident, the molecules of his body merged at that radioactive instant with the molecules of the sand under his feet, and his body took on the qualities of the sand itself, becoming virtually indestructible. And so, we urge every listener to stay indoors and- Uh-oh, Aunt May's coming. Gotta hide my costume fast. Just time to throw my robe on. Hope none of it is showing. Eater, dear, you have been studying so hard. I brought you some cookies and milk. Why are you clutching your robe so tightly? You look so agitated. You must have a fever, dear. That's my best excuse. I... I think maybe I am a little ill, Aunt May. Now you just get right into bed, Peter. I'll bring up some aspirins and a thermometer for you. Gosh, you don't have to bother with that, Aunt May. I'm sure I'll be okay in a little while. She's gone. Now for the news again. Police have thrown a cordon around the bank. Sandman is said to still be inside. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of TV's most dramatic moments. Our on-the-spot cameraman is actually photographing Sandman as he calmly walks out of the bank. The police bullets don't seem to affect him. Minutes later. Sandman made a clean getaway. I'll bet Spider-Man could stop him. If only I could sew my mask and slip away from Aunt May. You'll be just fine after a good night's sleep, dear. You've just been studying too hard. Meanwhile, the Sandman races through the city with the pursuing police right at his heels. Suddenly, turning a corner, he drops his stolen money bag as he wills his radiation-affected body to change its physical structure. Then the unsuspecting officers run past for who would think to suspect what lies beneath an innocent-looking mound of sand in a vacant lot the next morning. And though Sandman has made good his escape, the police are keeping constant vigil. Hmm, you seem better this morning, dear, and your temperature is perfectly normal. I'll fix you a nice warm breakfast and you can go to school. As soon as his daring aunt leaves the room. Phew, I was up half the night working on this, but at last it's finished. So I'll just wear my Spider-Man costume under my clothes today. Breakfast is ready, Peter. Be sure you eat every drop. I've got to leave a little early today. Thanks, Aunt May. I, uh, I'll be a little late coming home today. I'm gonna stop off and see Mr. Jameson about something. He's that nice gentleman who publishes the Daily Bugle in Now Magazine, isn't he? 
Just be sure you don't exert yourself, dear. You know how easily you could catch a cold. Aw, oh, Aunt May, I wish you wouldn't baby me so. I'm pretty husky, you know. Now, now, Peter, we can't be too careful, can we? Here, take your umbrella. It may rain today. Boy, if the world found out that Spider-Man had to carry an umbrella and promised not to exert himself. A few minutes later at the publishing office of J. George Jameson. Good morning, Mr. Jameson. Um, bring me the latest bulletins about Sandman right away. Also, I want the file on Spider-Man. First, Spider-Man plagues the city, and now Sandman. I wonder if there could be any connection between the two. What a scoop it would be if I proved there is. Sitting on his desk chair, J. Jonathan angrily finds the role memento Spider-Man had mischievously left the day before. What in the dod blam ding busted Sam hell is on my chair? I... I haven't any idea, sir. I'm stuck in this blasted chair, get me out! There's a piece of adhesive webbing on the seat! It's the work of that miserable Spider-Man! Well, don't just stand there and gawk, Miss Brandt! Go, get me another pair of trousers! Yeah, yes sir. Oh, there's J.J.'s young photographer, Peter Parker. Would you bring these trousers into Mr. Jameson, Peter? He's in such a bad mood. I hate to face him. Sure, Miss Brandt. J.J. must have found the little memento I left for him yesterday. I clean forgot about it. Oh, it's you, eh? Did you bring any new pictures? No, Mr. Jameson. I, uh, I've been sort of busy with my studies, but here's a pair of pants for you. Listen, Parker, I want pictures of Spider-Man. You managed to bring in great stuff in the past. But if you can't deliver now, I'll get someone who can. Do you read me? Say, what did you come up here for anyway? I wondered if you can give me an advance on my next check. An advance? Are you kidding? What do you do with money, eat it? Look, this is a business, not a charity. When you bring me exclusive pictures, I pay for them, but not before. You teenagers are all alike. You think the world is who are living. Now go out and get me some shots of Spider-Man, and don't come back till you do. I needed the dough for new experiments with my webbing, but I can't tell them that. Oh well, I tried. Once I get those pics of Spider-Man, I'll run them next to some pics of Sandman, with a caption reading, Are they the same man? What a feature that will make. Better get to school before I miss the last bell. And so... Hey, you're not serious about having a date with Puny Parker tonight, are you? Well, the poor guy's asked me so many times. I just didn't have the heart to refuse him again, Flash. I'll have to find some way to pick up the trail of Sandman after school tonight. Hello, Peter. What time will you pick me up tonight? Suffering cats. I forgot all about my date with Liz tonight. I'll have to break it. Gosh, Liz, I'm sorry. I can't make it. Something kind of important came up. Lucky for you, Liz. Now you can go out with a real man. Namely me. Gee, don't be angry, Liz. You see, I, I have to study for exams tomorrow and... Peter Parker, you're the top student in the class. If you can't spare one evening for a date, then I'm sorry for you. Goodbye. Hey, I dig the crazy umbrella. How come you left your galoshes home, Skinny? Sometimes I think I ought to have my head examined for sticking to this Spider-Man bit. I'm beginning to think a secret identity is for the birds. I wonder if my spider power is affecting my brain also. Nothing I do seems to turn out right. Parker, stop dreaming in class! Meanwhile, not too far away, Simmet is having his share of trouble. Also, as he realizes that evading the police isn't easy. Not even for a super criminal. I turned my legs in the sand just in time. These blasted cops are all over the place. They may be having a tough time holding me, but they sure are wearing me down. I've got to find a place where I can hold up and rest for a while. Hmm, that high school over there looks like a good spot. Nobody'd ever think to look for me in there. Everyone's in class except for that lone kid. Now to find an empty classroom. That's what I get for not paying attention in class. I got stuck with the job of carrying these old bottles from the lab to the boiler room. A real glamour boy, that's me. Uh, leave him there, Sonny. I'll get rid of him as soon as I adjust this new king-size vacuum cleaner. He doesn't know how lucky he is. No worries except keeping the school clean. No nutty villains to chase, like I have. And on the floor above. Someone's coming. I better duck into this room here. Uh-oh, the blamed room is packed. And now, class, our president will say a few words to... What? It's the Sandman! Look here, I'm Principal Davis. I demand to know... Quiet, you. I'll do the talking. So you're the principal, eh? Hmm, know something? I never graduated school. Maybe this is my last chance to get a diploma. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you're gonna find out right now. I figure a guy like me deserves the best of everything. So I want you to write me out a diploma, or else. Nothing can make me do that. A diploma must be earned. Your threats can't make me violate my trust or my duty. Say, listen to him stand up to the Sandman. Now there's a guy with guts. 
Stop! Stay back! These students are in my care! All of you! Run! Run home! Call the police! I'll hold them off till you get safely out! That's what you think, mister! I'm gonna teach you a little lesson right now! But outside the classroom door, the returning Peter Parker has overheard the commotion, and making a rapid change, he suddenly bursts into the room like a tornado, as the amazing spider gun. You've got that backwards, loudmouth. You're the one who's got a lot to learn. Wow, we! This sure has studying calculus beat all hollow. Spider Man! Go get him, Spider Man! Give him one for us, pal. Wonder if they'd cheer so loud if they knew it was puny Peter Parker they're cheering. That was a real dramatic entrance, Spider Man, but enjoy it while you can, because this time you ain't getting away from me so easy. I've got to get him away from here. I can't take a chance on any of these kids getting hurt while we're fighting. But maybe I can quickly floor him with one punch. Uh-oh, not a chance. My spider sense tells me he's making his body rock hard again. I just bust my hand trying. Instead, I'll do the unexpected. I'll grab him in a wrestler's hold before he can change the structure of his physical makeup. And flip him over my head like this. Happy landings, braggart. Perfect, I got him out of the room. Now to find a way to hold him until the police can get here. Boy, did you see that? I wonder where Peter went. He isn't here. Ooh, that coward. He's probably hiding with his head under a desk somewhere. Hey, Sandman recovered faster than I thought. I've got to stay out of his way till the school can be clear of the kids. Quickly, everybody out this way. Okay, Spider-Man, now it's just you and me. Once I finish you off, nobody will be able to stop me. He's pressing me too hard. I need more room. He has the advantage at these close quarters. I'll need my agility to get out of range. Ah, this is more like it. Now I've got to lure him out of here into a bigger area. I know just the place. Good, he followed me into the gym. Now I've really got room to operate. I'll cover him with my web from up here. Tricky little clown, ain't ya? Brother, you don't know how tricky. Well, you'll have to be a lot trickier than that to hold me. Heck, he's pouring right through my web. Any other dumb stunts you want to try? Why not? You're not going anywhere. I'm trying to sound confident to him, but I'll be blamed if I know what to try next. He's sure no sitting duck. Gotta catch my breath for a sec. He, he's got me trapped in this corner. I can't run. And my punches don't seem to be hurting him. Now I've got you where I want you. Hold still, insect man. This won't take long. All right, if you want to keep punching me, I'll make it easy for you. There, I made myself all nice and sandy again. And now, my fist went right through him, but he made his body hard again. I, I'm stuck. I don't want you to get bored, chum, so I'll hit you a different way. Ever get any love taps from a guy's rock hard head? Ugh, ow. If, if I didn't have my spider strength, I'd be out for the count now. I can't take much more of this. I gotta do something. Suddenly, summoning every remaining bit of strength in his amazingly powerful body, the Spider-Man exerts one last mighty effort and flips the Sandman over his head against the iron stairway post. What? The awesome criminal releases his hold on Spider-Man as he shudders into countless grains of sand. I'm free, but for how long? He's already reforming the sand elements of his body into a solid mass. Nice try, Spider-Man, but a fat lot of good it'll do ya. Boy, anyone who wanted to trade places with me right now wouldn't have to coax me very hard. I'll just let my grains of sand ooze over there towards ya, like having your legs in quicksand, isn't it? I'll bet you'd be great at a party, you're just a barrel of fun, aren't ya? Well, this little party's gonna end pretty soon. Here's where I put you away for keeps, you costumed pest. He's trapping me more and more. I can't break loose. Wait, I've got an idea. While he's busy trying to make me helpless, I'll bend down and try to make him form himself into some sort of ball. I notice you're not giving out with all those wisecracks now, huh, Spider-Man? It works. I maneuvered him near the basement steps. Now, if I'm lucky, you're just prolonging the agony, lame brain. This ain't gonna help ya. Oof. Still think it won't help me? Okay, you had your fun. I'm through fooling around. That's so? I'm just getting started. This electric drill will bore through anything, so you'd better keep your distance, Sandman. Don't you ever learn? All I gotta do is make my body like sand again. That dumb thing can't hurt me. So far, so good. He doesn't suspect that that's just what I want him to do. Still not convinced, huh? Okay, go ahead. Waste your time. How did not like you ever get to be a superhero anyhow? Just stick around, big fella. You'll find out before you know it. Move with breathtaking speed, the amazing Spider-Man suddenly drops his drill and seizes the huge industrial vacuum cleaner which the school janitor had been adjusting earlier in the day. So, you wanted a diploma, huh? What's that got to do with anything? Just this, here's the first part of your education, courtesy of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Oh, phew, got him at last. 
That heavy canvas bag will hold him for sure. Too bad I could have gotten some pictures of our fight. Old Jameson would pay a fortune for him. Say, why not? Maybe with a little ingenuity I could still furnish the pics to JJ. I'll just take my camera off my belt. There, I've got the timer set to automatic. Now this bucket of sand will come in real handy. I'll just toss a mess of sand into the air like this, and then I'll dive through it, as though I'm attacking Sandman Moys in a sand grain form. Since this really happened a few minutes ago, it can't be unethical. It's like shooting a retake of a movie. I hope the cameras focus just right. These shots should be good. Meanwhile, the police have thrown a heavily armed cordon around the school, and... Units are in position, Captain. Good, remember we don't want to take any unnecessary chances. Let me throw, I'm J. Jonah Jameson, let me throw. What are you waiting for, Captain? Why don't you charge in there and overpower the Sandman? Look, mister, I don't tell you how to publish newspapers. I've got to be sure that all the students are out of there before the shooting starts. Later. All right, the school is cleared out, except for Sandman. Now get him before he and Spider-Man escape. You're off base there, Jameson. We're not after Spider-Man. As far as we know, he's been helping us to battle Sandman. So, he's got you fool too, has he? I'm convinced they're in cahoots. For all we know, they're planning to loot this entire city together. Jameson, why don't you let me handle... Wait, look. You can breathe easy, Captain. Sandman is inside, all wrapped up for you. It's Spider-Man. He did it. Don't let him fool you. It could be a trick. You've got to capture Spider-Man. Hold him until you find the Sandman. Come down from there, Spider-Man. You'll have to give us a full report. And I've got a few questions to ask him, too. My papers want to know more about him. Why is Spider-Man allowed to roam the city at will, taking the law into his own hands? Boy, nothing I can do to satisfy Jameson. I'd better watch my step. He has a way of inflaming the crowd, turning everything I say and do against me. If the police listen to him, I'm liable to be locked up too. Here, Sandman's inside. Better handle with care. Captain, make Spider-Man come down too. Why would he face us? What is he trying to hide? As a taxpayer, I demand he be apprehended. But inside the school again, Spider-Man has other plans. I've got to change back to Peter Parker on the double before they find me. A few seconds later. I sure hope no one ties my sudden appearance in with the disappearance of Spider-Man. Hold on there, Parker. I've been looking for you. So, you were hiding in the school, eh? Good boy. Did you get any exclusive pictures of those two menaces for me? Yes, sir, I did. I was, uh, kind of lucky this time. Here's the film, Mr. Jameson. I didn't have time to have it developed. That's all right. Don't worry about it. I'll take the cost of developing out of your pay. Not a sign of Spider-Man, Chief. Well, we have nothing against him anyway, and we do have Sandman under wraps. Nothing against Spider-Man? What about the damage done to the inside of the school? Wait till my papers write an editorial about him wrecking public property. If Spider-Man let the police handle this, Sandman could have been starved out of there and captured with no fuss. No damage, but once again, Spider-Man tried to steal the glory. Mr. Jameson, the police appreciate Spider-Man's help, but you can print what you want in your papers. But sooner or later, people will realize you're just airing a private grudge of your own. Ah, uh, who cares about Jameson? For once, everything turned out okay. I polished off Sandman, got the money I needed, and now there's nothing to stop me from dating Liz tonight. I'd better go and find her. There she is. Wait up, Liz. Well, well, look who's here, Mr. Bookworm of 1963. Now that the fighting's over, you finally came out of hiding, eh? What is it, Peter? I happen to be quite busy. Gee, don't be angry, Liz. I just wanted to tell you that I could take you out tonight after all. Really? Perhaps we should declare this a national holiday. Sorry, Mr. Parker, but I have made other plans. Meaning yours truly, punk. Now run along and find your umbrella. You brainless loudmouth, you've insulted me for the last time. I'm gonna wipe that stupid leer off your face right now. Well, well, so the worm finally turned, eh? Okay, worm, I've been waiting for this. Wait, what am I doing? I can't afford to lose my temper like this. With the strength of Spider-Man, if I get into a fight with a normal guy, I could pulverize him. Ah, uh, forget it. You're not even worth the trouble. I've got more important things to do. Ah, sure. Things like chickening out of fights and hiding whenever there's trouble. Things like that could keep a fella real busy. Can't they, PD boy? Would you like us to help you cross the street, Sonny? Maybe we could... Hey, what gives? You ought to feel his arm under his jacket, Flash. Parker's got muscles like a weightlifter. Hmm. <laughs> Too bad he doesn't have courage to match. Uh, you said it, Liz. Come on, chick, let's go. This company is boring me. Now even Liz thinks I'm a coward. That sure is pretty hard to take. So long, Brainwave. Don't let any kindergarten kids run away with your books. That's enough, Flash. You needn't be that cruel to Peter. 
women. I thought you were mad at him. Later, walking home from school, a thoughtful Peter Parker overhears the comments of his neighbors. Well, I see that Spider-Man captured that awful Sandman. According to the editorial, Spider-Man is just as bad as the other one. Do you wish you were Spider-Man? Nah, give me the Human Torch any day. Luna Jameson writes that Spider-Man has no business trying to catch criminals by himself. If you ask me, that's right. Who knows when Spider-Man may turn against society? What would make a guy wear a goofy costume and run around chasing crooks? I don't know. He must be a neurotic of some sort. Probably has delusions of grandeur. Finally, alone in his room, the amazing individual called Spider-Man searches his soul, bewildered, confused, and bitter. And they be right? Am I really some sort of a crackpot wasting my time seeking fame and glory? Am I more interested in the adventure of being Spider-Man than I am in helping people? Why do I do it? Why don't I give the whole thing up? And yet, I can't. I must have been given this great power for a reason. No matter how difficult it is, I must remain as Spider-Man, and I pray that someday the world will understand. One thing is certain, the world will now have long to which for Spider-Man's next great thriller, due to your ever-increasing demand, it will be on sale soon. Reserve your copy now. The end. Well guys, that was issue number four of The Amazing Spider-Man. It was our first introduction to the Sandman, and it's really cool seeing more of Peter's personal life, especially at school. And, of course, we're going to be seeing more and more of that as we go through the series. And the world seems to be getting the best of Peter right now, but hopefully he finds something good in the near future. But thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoy this series, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.